Now, the most people in the Northern Hemisphere don't even realise you can ski in Australia, yet the country is churning out some of the best riders in the entire world. Andrea Binning, Tora Bright, Anna Siegel, and of course, the winner of the JOI, the Red Bull Play Streets, and the European Open, Mr. Russ Henshaw. I've come to his hometown of Jindabyne to meet him and another local rider, Max Timmins, just to say good day, really. Hey, I'm Max Timmins. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> so, just to clarify for our European viewers, you can ski in Australia. Oh so. yeah, and you'll see that in our little uh, video, but yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. The snow is maybe not as good as some European resorts, but the parks are world class and everyone shreds. And so how come there's so many like sick Aussie riders coming out, like obviously Russ killing it? Like, is it because, you know, the hills aren't as big, so everyone just concentrates on park, or is it...? Um, I think that's a factor. I think the fact that um, there's not as many um, steep terrain, as much steep terrain, as not, not as much powder, yeah. means that we get stuck in the park a little bit. But I think it also has to do with the fact that a lot of us have grown up skiing together, and we push each other as riders, and therefore all improve at a pretty fast rate. So, Jindabyne, you live in Jindabyne, which is the sort of base for the sort of New South Wales resorts. Like, what's it like growing up there? Is it like focus on skiing? Or? Oh no, it's awesome. It's awesome year round. If you don't go overseas for the summer, then um, we've got the lake, wakeboard, water ski, whatever you want, and we've got heaps of fishing, we've got all the rivers around. It's, it's such an awesome all round resort. And uh, how much do you reckon people should vote for our video that we're going to be playing at the end of the show? Uh, I'd say about a 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. So. What's up, Tim from Snowfix here in Jindabyne filming behind the scenes feature with local rider Max Timmins. He's making a film for the tube my right. Hang on, there he is. What, what the hell's going on, Max? You okay? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Just some friends from down here mucking around. Happens a bit. Would you be out on time, you please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all harmless. It's just I've been going pretty well lately and I'm, I'm not certain they um I'm not certain they want me up there. Cause um yeah, just played a few pranks, tied me up. What the f was that a snake? I think so. That was a pretty poisonous steak. Um, they mustn't have realised. Eh? So hey Max, what's uh, what's happening now? Uh, how you doing, mate? Ah, oh, bit unfortunate. Um, just went back to my car and the tyres have been slashed. This this wouldn't have been my mates. This is obviously just a coincidence or something, but um. Got to hitch up the hill to try and get up to this contest. As Max is just hitching, like a car just pulls out of nowhere and just kind of bundles him into the back and shoots off. Like, I don't know if it was his mates giving him a lift up the hill or what, but he left his skis on the side of the road, so I don't know what happened. What, what, what happened, mate? I don't know what I'm talking about. Did, did you get any filming done? No. There's like 10 minutes left of the competition. You could get like one run. I only need one run, mate. Stand up. We've been sitting too long. Stand up. On your feet to the beat of this song. Stand up. Straighten your backs out. Put your chins up. This is us. It's about time, Australia. Put your drinks up. Stand up. We've been sitting too long. Stand up. On your feet, feel the beat of this song. Stand up. Straighten your backs out. Put your chins up. This is us. It's about time, Australia. Put your drinks up. Time to get off your ass. Show some support for the Aussies who are repping it hard. The Yanks have a car, but we're pedaling fast with no brakes. It's no chase. There's no chance on a BMX of getting us past. We need the support of the people. Stop listening to 50. This is something you can relate to. Where the kids are your city, the city is Sydney. Stop rocking. Enough to keep support the scene and show love Cause there's not enough of this Pump the disc of your favourite MC Or crew, whatever you're into It does not offend me We gotta move forward as one I love American rap, well it all has begun But not talking about guns, that's not you It's not me, never forget your influences But that doesn't mean you should be a straight up copy You can't stop me, cause I'll do this anyway With the hope that the support could happen any day So up We've been sitting too <laughs> My mate forgot to press record. We don't have any time left. Did you film any of that? Yeah, I mean, just use this documentary if you want.
What up, I'm Russ Henshaw and you're watching Snowfix. Yeah, just, I've been heaps stoked from it and everyone's kind of been stoked for me, which has been good. And uh, after that I just got to do a fair bit of filming with Matchstick, so pretty stoked on that. It uh, happened to me when I was just turned 16. I got invited to JOI then. I didn't do so well in the competition, but the practice days, I was just skiing with like Yoon and Jakob and whatever, and they were all throwing doubles, and I knew I could do them, because I could do them on tramps, so I just figured I'd throw them, and ended up working, so. Been doing them for quite a while, and it's just, just been getting better at the grabs and stuff now, so. Oh, it was, uh, it was pretty good. I'd like, I'd done double backflips and stuff before, and that was a good feeling, but then, Spinning in it as well, it was just crazy. Such a good feeling. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I really agree with Afterbank. It's more just stomping your tree. For the first uh, few months, so like June and July, I'm just kind of cruising. But then uh, pretty soon in August, I'll be heading over there and uh, to New Zealand. And that's when it all kicks off again. I've got like three or four competitions. Then after that, I'll do a bit more training, and then it starts in September with the like Freestyle CH and the London Freeze, so yeah, there's a lot of comps coming up. I like the idea of, of, uh, of keeping like consistent over a few events. The only problem I found with the Jew Tour was they changed their judging style from overall impression to, uh, it was like each feature had, uh, had like 20%, was worth 20%, so the guys that could uh, do okay tricks on everything did pretty well, whereas the guys that weren't so good on rails but really good on jumps got let down, you know? So, uh, I don't know, that was a bit weird, but all in all, it was a good event. X Games for sure, it's just, it's been around for so long, it's pretty much the biggest event. But, uh, yeah, G2 would follow pretty close for sure. Come and take me. I would. But they don't have it in the Olympics yet. None of it's in the Olympics. Half pipe's supposedly going to be a demonstration, but I can't ski pipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just chose to, chose to do it just because there was a few other guys doing it, and I felt like if I didn't do it, I'd be I'd be a bit left behind. It just keeps everyone up to date with what I'm doing, and it, can, it shows what I'm learning, where I'm going. I don't know. It's good for the sponsors too. Um, my dad's actually uh, he owns his own IT business, so. He did most of it for me. Yeah, real good. Yeah, I got a section in Matchstick's new, uh, well, not really a section, they're doing doing it different this year. They're doing sections on like powder and a park section and whatnot. So uh, I got a few shots in the trailer, so hopefully I'll get a few shots in the movie. Yep, I'm gonna uh, try and do as much filming as I can with Matchstick, just try and, you know, get myself out there, get more known. I'd probably choose winning X Games, just because from that would you'd have so many opportunities to do stuff, and you're probably throwing new tricks to win it anyway. 
So that kind of ties in with a few things. Yeah, so win the next games. Go. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to. We'll see how it goes. Come and save me. What are you doing? The show's over. I told you, we need you to vote for our film. Now there's a link on snowfix.tv. Just click on it, put in your email address and help us win. We've only got until the 30th of August, so chop chop. I mean, uh, please.